I think that in life, what happens to you is meant to happen to you. Things happen to me that are so strange that if you tell somebody about them, they probably won't believe you. Or if you put them in a novel, that would be, they would say, this is not, this is bullshit. Yeah. I am not old and I am not young, but I am very rich in experiencing life. Something that's really important is time. Time becomes very surreal. Time becomes more precious. Um, how much time do we waste? Buddha says, the trouble is you think you have time. This time obsession, this time obsession is huge. Like I always feel there is not enough time. Like, not in for, for anything. Like I enjoy spring so much, but it's too short. And even winter, when the spring comes, I'm like, I'm not ready for the spring yet. I haven't had a sense of winter yet. I'm like, there's not enough time. I feel like time is something that just go by and you cannot beat it. You have just one chance. Um, and everything, it's, it's, it's of a certain value. And even the world's experience can become uh, a good experience because it's a teaching process, a learning process, actually, more than. It is the experience of life that is the most important thing. I came out of the womb independent and ready to go. That's what my parents always said. You just, you just were ready, you know? And I put this drill sergeant in my head of do, 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 and you have to accomplish things. Otherwise, you're not really living. Otherwise, you're not really adding to the world. It's not simply about sitting back and letting what life is going to give you just come at you. You got to go out there and you got to take it. You got to stand up and you got to say, fuck yeah, this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it. Sometimes you want to run away from it because you don't want to deal with it. And that's what I felt like I wanted to do. But you can't run away from it all the time. Sometimes you can. Um, and life is all about choices. Choices. And what are you going to do with those choices? The feeling of looking fear in the face and living out your fears uh, has been so empowering and so invigorating. Fear is a good thing. That's why they wrote Moby Dick. That's the metaphor for where he says fear is a good thing. You don't want to be too fearless because then you end up like Ahab attached to the fucking whale you've been chasing. So you don't want to be like Ahab. I always found myself being afraid of something that might go wrong, but I realized that there is nothing that might go wrong or right. Things just happen. This sort of cliche of like all we have is the moment, but it's not a cliche, it's a truism. This is all we really have. They say living in the past and living in the future are delusions, or you just carry these stored memories, or you're using your imagination. So all you really have is this moment. Um, so you have to take the opportunity to really seize it, carpe diem and tell the people that you love that you love them, and tell the people that you've hurt that you're sorry. Um, you know, and I don't mean to sound kind of like a born-again Christian or something, like, oh, it's the truth, you know, God's telling you the truth. You know, the truth is that there is, there is a sense, right? There is something that makes sense in life. There is, there is, it's not just a random compilation of events, and it's not just a, it, it's not just a sort of graspy hell realm here on earth, which is what it seems to be sometimes, you know. There is an order to things. It's, a, it's called karma, but you can call it whatever you want. It's, you know, the enlightenment principle, whatever it is. But there is an order to things, and I do believe that. And that helps me a lot. I choose to be here now. And I choose to be me. 
because it's, it's what the world wants from me. And it's what the world needs from all of us, is to just be who we are. I choose to be here. And I choose it now.